welcome back student today we are going to start with our session 4 where we are going to retrieve the data using queries using some sql commands then we will learn how to create form and reports using the wizard the next video which is last video is going to be about sql commands that video is exclusively only for sql commands first of all we should know what is a query now we have created our table we have entered the records in them so after entering the record we need to extract some information out of that that's when you use the query in database as the name suggests query is to collect specific information from the pool of data a query help us to join information from different tables and filter that information you can filter out the data from one or more tables filtering means that the query uses criteria you provide to hide some data and present only what you want to see we will do it practically and then you are going to understand what this all mean first is we have to create the query using the wizard let's do that practically after table the next one we have is query so when i click on query you have three options over here create query in design view use the wizard to create the query and create query in sql view we have to start with the wizard so click on this option the wizard will help you to create the query so whatever the table you have created will be available over here i have only a single table in this database which is showing over here the table name is s details and all the available fields or columns in that table are listed here now this wizard step is for selecting the fields which of the fields you want in your query suppose i want all the fields in my query so what i can do i can use this double arrow so when you click on double arrow all these fields will be available in your query and if you want to remove them all of them this is the double arrow again you can use if you want selected columns you can select the column and then move it here I have an added date of birth but I do not want this date of birth so how can I remove it select the field and then click on this arrow this is how you can remove it from here then click on next now if you want to sort your query uh, according to ro name roll number or location you can do that let's say I want to sort it according to location then click on next so, so in second step you sort your data then next is your search condition what kind of query you want like suppose I want all the students who are in Delhi. So I'll say the location which is equal to and then you will enter the value Delhi. After that you are going to click on next. This will tell you like where you want to view all the records or you want to aggregate the function. Aggregate, we are not going to use this aggregate function over here. Uh, this we are going to do using SQL queries. So I'm going to click on next. Now alias means what uh, will be the name on the columns. It on the top it will appear. Like uh, instead of roll number, I can if I change it to you will just uh, notice the difference. What is alias mean? I have only changed roll number. Click on next, and then I want it is telling you what do you want to do? Or you want to display the query, or you want to modify the query? It means uh, if you want your query to have some more columns, you can. Click on modify query and then you can do that. But I want to display it. This is the overview of your query that you are ascending your data according to location in ascending order. The search condition. What is your search condition for the query? That you are looking for location. All the students who are in depth. Okay. Then no grouping is there. Then I click on finish. And this is how it is only showing the records or the student who are in daily. And see the alias was roll number i have given the alias as roll number i'll just show you the table also what is the table data is there so out of this database i have find out who are the students who are in delhi and what i have taken name roll number and location only three columns i have taken so this is what queries you have filtered out only three columns based on a condition that the student who are in Delhi, you want their roll number and name. And alias, see over here, alias means this is the field name, this is the column name, but I have specified roll number. Here we, I have written the short form, but here I have written the full form. So this is what alias means. The query is to collect specific information from the pool of data. And filtering means the query uses criteria. What was the criteria we have used? The location is Delhi. I hope this point is clear to you. Then we have done query using the wizard. Next is 
creation of query using the design view. Now we will use the design view to create the query. Some RDBMS provide a graphical means to create queries, but most RDBMS do not do so. That's where we use SQL. I use SQL, but it is pronounced as SQL or structured query language. And it is used to make queries into database and information system. Queries are the commands that are used to define the data structure and also to manipulate the data in the database. So this is the definition. You can learn it by heart. These definitions are important from the point of view of your exams. Now, when you write the queries, you have certain DML. If you have remember, uh, I have given some SQL command categories. I will provide you the link in the I button. You can view the video over there. The very first one is the, in the DML was select command. Select command retrieves zero or more records from the database table. Zero records, suppose in my table, if I have given the, the locations over here, this. Now there is no Kolkata given over here. But if I have given location is equal to Kolkata, there is no record like that. So I will be getting no record, means zero records I will get from the database. So this is what zero means. When we use select command, we have uh, some optional clauses like where we use like where location is equal to daily order by location as we have done in the query we have ordered the uh, we have sorted the command in ascending order according to location let's uh, see some of the commands to retrieve all the columns in a table the syntax is suppose i want to find out all the columns i want to see all the columns and all the data from a table so what i'll write select and then this is the asterisk Select asterisk from the name of the table and followed by semicolon. This is also important. You should put the semicolon at the end of SQL statement. Now, in order to execute query, you have to click on queries option available on the left hand side under the database section and create query in SQL view as shown below. We will be doing it practically. This is the, what it is talking about queries and then create query in SQL view. When you select this, you will be getting this kind of this kind of dialog box. There you can type your query and then execute it using the F5 function key, which is a shortcut key, or we have the run query icon. If you want to display all the data in the table that you have created, like from S detail, I have also created the S detail table. So if I want to display all the columns and all the data and records from there, what I have to write, select asterisk, asterisk meet everything from S details and semicolon. This is the data in the as detail table. Now I'll go to queries and then I'll say, uh, I'll go to this one, create query in SQL view. Now here I have to type the command. So I hope this is visible to you. This is how you will write it. You will click on the run query command and this is the run query button. You can press the shortcut key F5. So once again, there was a mistake in the table name. So make sure that you are writing it correctly. Now let's run this again and this is how you'll get the data over here. Not only fetching the data, you can also do some calculation on the columns. You can use the arithmetic operators as well. Like suppose you want to display all the employees name after incrementing their salary by 1000. So how you can do that using SQL SQL command. Now I have written the query over here. For that I have created this table and I have only two records over here. Rohan and Kunal, then salary is 40,000 and 45,000. Now, my query was, I have added 1,000 to each employee salary and I'm displaying the employee name and the salary after incrementing with 1,000. So, uh, what will you command? Select employee name because the column is employee name and then employee salary plus 1,000. Similarly, if you want to detect 1000 you can replace it with 1000 so if i execute this query you can see it's 41 and 46 right now the current salary is 40,000 and 45,000 so if i deduct minus 1000 over here it will be 39 and 44 so let's run the query and this is how it will display the record similarly i can double the salary that is multiplication so what i'll do the column employee salary multiply by 2 and if i run this the salary is going to be double so it's going to be 48 and 90,000 run the query and this is how it will display the salary similarly you can divide so instead of this is going the salary is going to be half 
I hope this is clear to you. Now there was a term when we were using the query grouping of data. Grouping of data is used to display the records containing the same type of value using the WHERE clause. Like to get the details about the list of all the students whose favorite color is blue. What you can use? Select asterisk from as detail where color equals to blue. So grouping will be done on the basis of color. Like where I say where location is equal to Delhi. So that is also a kind of grouping I have done. So this will show all the records which with the color blue. Similarly, we can write the query for sorting the record. For example, select asterisk from SD date order by roll number in ascending order. This is how I have written the SQL command select asterisk from SD date order by roll number and ascending order. You can see this is the original data. The data is not arranged according to roll number, but over here after SQL query, when we have run this query, we have the sorted data in ascending order. Now instead of roll number, we can write name as well. And instead of ascending, I want to sort in descending order. So for descending order, I will write DESC and then we'll click on run query. So this is how you can see the data is sorted in descending order according to the column name. Rest will continue in the next video. Keep watching.